Welcome to another HSExtra.com high school football video. We're at the West Forsyth 7 on 7 where the High Point Christian Cougars have just competed. Talking to first year head coach for the Cougars, Ryan Rocha. What's it been like taking over this program and, and trying to get things rolling? Uh, it's been exciting. I, uh, I showed up on the scene April 1st, um, you know, coming from California. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave me a lot of flexibility and, and they knew it would be a long haul for my family. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know, you can get it in June. I said, look, I've coached football for 15 years now. Uh, you don't start football in June. And mm -hmm. so we've got to get there right away. So we got here on April 1st, immediately got the kids in the weight room. Um, immediately got buy-in from a lot of seniors. You know, they went three and seven last year and they they want to win. Mm -hmm. And so I've got a big heart for uh, seniors who go through a coaching change. So mm -hmm. uh, immediately wanted to make sure that I gave them my all. Uh, we've got a good mixture of bodies here. We're looking at about 25, 30 bodies this year, which is a good plus. Um, and our JVs are rocking at 35, 40. So we really like the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, the kids are buying into our scheme. Uh, you know, we're not the fastest team in the world, mm -hmm. uh, but if they do their job and, and commit to the culture that we're establishing, they're going to win a lot of football games. So we're excited. What's your philosophy toward the seven on sevens? I know it's 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 good for competition, it's yeah. good for timing, but it's it's not it's not full football. It's not the full football experience. Absolutely, if you're a spread team, it's great. We're mm -hmm. not so so offensively. We stay true to who we are. What mm -hmm. we're going to do at seven on seven is what we're going to do in the season. So that gets us better. Mm -hmm. I think if you go away from that, you end up just wasting a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, defensively, I used to love it. I really feel even even I like it more defensively, but I feel like so many um, teams have gone away from their traditional offense during the sevens and have created seven on seven passing. Yeah. And so what it's you're almost left, a different team. It right? is. And you're sitting there going, you know, I'm seeing a lot of empty and in the season, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to see as much. Right. And so um, but it still establishes a relationship with your defensive backs and your linebackers to understand their zones and working together. So mm -hmm. it's it's good. Uh, but nothing compares to the pads. Mm -hmm. so. Pads go on August 1st, Absolutely. first game August 19th. What, what are you most looking forward to about this first season with the Cougars? Getting back on the football field, mm -hmm. uh, Friday Night Lights, there's nothing like it. Mm -hmm. um, when you're talking to kids, uh, football's so universal. Um, it's the sport where you get multi-sport athletes, mm -hmm. and there's a reason why they play. They may not even love football like they love basketball or baseball or track, but they love Friday Night Lights. And mm -hmm. so for me, that's the most exciting thing. I think the hard part is getting kids to really grasp you win Friday, Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, right now it's a gauntlet, it's heat, it's humid, it's getting them conditioned in the weight room and then just getting them to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Right. And young kids don't see that all the time. So uh, yeah, getting back on a sideline and watching kids compete is probably the, one of the, the most sacred things about high school football. Well, it's something to look forward to. Like Absolutely. I said, pads August 1st, games August 19th. Good luck to you and your Cougars. Hey, thank you.